The second-generation Nissan X-Trail got rid of some of the problems of the first version, while maintaining good road performance, high comfort, and distinctive appearance. It combines a large interior volume with moderate dimensions and is able to overcome a little more than a typical urban curb. The compact crossover Nissan X-Trail first saw the light in 2000. As usual, a lot came to its aggregate base from the company's passenger models, Almera and Primera. In 2007, at the Geneva Motor Show, the second generation of the all-wheel drive was shown, the chassis of which was based on the Nissan Qashqai, released a year earlier. The subsequent restyling, which happened in 2010, affected only the front end, mainly changing the grille and headlights. We'll just talk about pre-styling cars from the period 2007 to 2010. One of the main features of the X-Trail is its masculine appearance for a crossover, which allows the manufacturer to position it as almost a real SUV. Nevertheless, this is nothing more than a standard SUV with a transverse engine, permanent front and all-wheel drive and rather modest geometric indicators, primarily due to the large rear overhang. The X-Trail range has two petrol, 2.0 and 2.5 liter engines and one 2-liter turbo diesel. Each of the units is quite reliable, and failures, even at high mileage, are not of a systemic nature. All engines have camshafts driven by a chain, which eliminates the costly procedure for replacing the timing belt. There were no problems with diesel equipment, except after refueling with the diesel substitute. However, even owners of petrol versions need to be careful when choosing gas stations, because there is no separately replaceable fuel filter on the X-Trail. The filter, fuel pump assembly will draw noticeable 14,960 rubles from the wallet. An unpleasant non-systematic defect can be considered an increased, more than 0.5 liters per 1,000 kilometers, oil consumption of the large QR25 gasoline engine. It appears after 100,000 to 150,000 kilometers of run due to wear on the honing of the cylinder walls. As a rule, this is a consequence of either overheating of the motor, or extremely aggressive driving. Since the cylinder block of Nissan engines is not reparable, there is only one way out. Contract block for about 30,000 to 35,000 rubles. A new short block costs almost three times as much. With a run of 150,000 to 200,000 kilometers, problems with the variator may occur. Recently, it has become possible to replace it under warranty on three to five year old cars with a mileage of up to 150,000 kilometers, since this unit is officially considered unrepairable. For those who do not fall under the warranty program, there is an alternative in the form of a successful overhaul of the variator from unofficial for 70,000 rubles. The electronic gear selector is another sore point of the Nissan X-Trail power plant. The node can suddenly jam in position P, and replacement will require as much as 20,000 rubles. Other misunderstandings in the transmission or suspension of cars that do not participate in off-road jumps were not noted. The rigid Kashke chassis on the X-Trail received completely different, comfortable settings. Unlike the first series, which mercilessly annoyed its owners with the constant replacement of lightweight front bearings, the only drawback of the second generation is the noise of the front strut bearings when the steering wheel is turned. The defect is not particularly noticeable, does not affect driving performance in any way, and, as a rule, it is simply ignored but it will not work to close your eyes to the problem of corrosion of the trunk lid under the license plate trim. A design miscalculation was made here. The plastic lining rubs over the paint and gradually gnaws through the coating to the metal. There is no alternative to local tinting, and the possibility of performing this procedure under warranty in each case is decided by the dealer individually. Off-road paraphernalia is limited to three transmission modes, 2WD, Auto, and Lock. In the first, the car is constantly front-wheel drive, the second provides for a short-term connection of the rear wheels if necessary, the third is permanent. The operation algorithm of the X-Trail coupling of the second generation has been seriously redesigned, they fought to reduce heat. The clutch was taught to work even before the front wheels began to slip, anticipating the development of the situation. Nissan engineers are especially proud of this development, calling it an analog of the Beam X-Drive, only in a budget version. This is probably why, even in thoroughly traveled specimens, a breakdown of the rear gearbox, into which the coupling for connecting the second axle is implanted, is a rarity. As for routine maintenance, their list is quite common. The frequency of maintenance is 15,000 kilometers. Small maintenance will cost 7,500 rubles, large, 15,000. Once a year, 
it is recommended to blow out dust and fluff from radiators, 3,500 rubles, these are, perhaps, all the program expenses. Summing up, it can be noted that the Nissan X-Trail is a car that fits perfectly into its niche, providing adequate quality and comfort for a reasonable price. True, attempts to storm off-road on it are likely to be expensive. On the other hand, he can confidently stay on the forest road, as well as overcoming snow-covered paths to a suburban cottage. All possible breakdowns are predictable, and to a large extent depend on the careful operation of the previous owner. The durability of the units allows us to talk about the X-Trail as a completely reliable crossover. And often breakdowns are associated only with huge reel runs, twisted by craftsmen sellers. So, when choosing a car, first of all, match its condition to the odometer readings. And for the CVT version, it is worth testing the box and its switch selector for deadness.